President Kamala Harris is set to visit Tallahassee Sunday to speak at an event honoring 50 years since the Roe v. Wade decision that gave federal protection for women to access abortion services. And tonight we have team coverage on those preparations and how local groups are reflecting on the abortion debate as we approach 50 years since Roe v. Wade. ABC 27's Ariel Schiller joins us live tonight in Tallahassee. And Ariel, what can you tell us about the vice president's visit? Hey, Ava, not a whole lot right now. Law enforcement agencies have not been really telling us a whole lot about what's going into the vice president's visit for security reasons, but we do know the event will be held here behind me at the moon. I've seen local law enforcement, Tallahassee police in and out of the event venue. And actually earlier today, I was asked to leave the venue when I was getting video because they said it was closed to the public. The moon event venue on Lafayette Street has hosted many events over the years. On Sunday, it will be the site of a vice presidential visit. Many people are excited, like Urban League President Curtis Taylor. He says the vice president's visit to Tallahassee will be inspiring for young girls. When I spoke with NAACP Tallahassee branch president Mutaki Akbar, he said Harris could have picked anywhere to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Roe versus Wade, but believes her visit to Tallahassee serves as a much bigger message in the nationwide abortion debate while putting Tallahassee in the spotlight. So far, the governor's office has not released a statement on Harris's visit. While a start time has not been a release for the event, we do expect it to start around 11 a.m. on Sunday. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Ariel Schiller, ABC 27.